my name's Stu Viney and I'm National Account Manager for Fortlift Truck for Calais. Right, in Calais, safety is our number one priority and we take safety very seriously. I'm Andy Maguire, I'm the General Manager of the Fleet Department at Maxi Haulage. So we run forklift trucks out of three of our depots. Vehicles come in loaded with bulk and they're broken down into regional distribution vehicles and for local deliveries. Caligas has been a long-term supplier of us since long before I took over. So we take health and safety very seriously at Maxi. We are a high pressure environment where we do have short windows of operation, but health and safety always comes first with us. My name's Brian O'Flynn, I'm a technical trainer for Caligas. I'm involved in training our engineers um, and various people across the business. The correct PPE to wear when refilling a forklift truck cylinder is a face shield or visor, long sleeves, cotton, neoprene or nitrile gloves and preferably the gauntlets. You should also be wearing safety boots and high vis. So with a non-refillable cylinder they don't have a contents gauge so it would just be that the forklift truck starts to lose power. You should park up your forklift truck and apply the handbrake. Before turning the engine off you should close the service valve on the cylinder. Let the forklift truck engine die and then you can close the service valve on the cylinder, disconnect the cylinder, remove it from the back of the forklift truck and then with the aid of another person normally put the new cylinder on the back of the forklift truck, connect the service valve once the cylinder is safely secured and start your engine as normal. To check that cylinder has been fitted correctly you should make sure that it's secure you should also check the bottom of the cylinder where there's a white arrow to show the orientation is correct. This white arrow should be pointing in the down position. There is also a locating pin on the cylinder shroud which should fit into most makes of FLTs where they'll have a pin to receive that. So good housekeeping is very important when storing cylinders, LPG or other gases. They should be stored in a compound if there's access to members of the public on the site. If you detect a leak in a cylinder, you should contact Calo on our emergency line straight away. The cylinder, if it's safe to do so, should be moved to an outside location, away from any open drains, ignition sources or combustible materials. Safety is Calo's number one priority. We want to ensure that our customers, our staff and other members of the public can all go home safe at the end of the day.